Hey everyone. Hey, in this video, I want to talk about the thermal simulation capabilities of Altair SimSolid. Now, SimSolid is known for being an easy to use meshless simulation tool that's really good for rapid design iterations. Now, we are seeing more and more people take advantage of those thermal capabilities as well. Now, in a minute, I'll show you an example of how easy it is to set up a thermal analysis, uh, but I want to highlight a few of the options for you. With SimSolid, you can perform steady state, you don't need time as variable, or transient if you want to include those time steps. You can also do thermal with structural analysis and do that coupling. Okay, so let's walk through how to set up a simple transient thermal simulation. First thing I want to do is assign the material. I'm going to use steel, but you can see there's the option to modify any thermal properties if needed, if you have your own material, or if you just need to see the thermal properties of the material you're going to use. Now when I drop down the analysis menu here, you can see all the options that it gives you. There's thermal in here and the option to choose steady state or transient, meaning you want time as a variable. And for this example, I'm going to choose transient. Now once you do that, you're going to be asked for a few things. The number of modes, how long you want it to last, and that initial temperature. For this one, I'm going to do 12 modes, 500 seconds, and that initial temperature of 80 degrees. Now with transient simulations, I need to define two things my time function and my thermal load. So with time function, I'm gonna show you a few in this example. The first one I'm gonna do is a standard function that is uniform, that basically means the thermal component will be flat across the analysis. It defaults to 1000 seconds, which is fine because I'm only gonna run it for 500. Now one cool feature is that you can actually rename these time functions. So if you're gonna create multiple, you can actually keep track of them as you're going through it. So we'll name this one uniform, and then we'll move on to our second. Uh, same icon, I'm gonna actually add this one manually. And what I'm gonna do is add a few rows, and then I can choose what I want the amplitude and the time seconds to be. So I'll do 500, and I'll do an amplitude of one. The amplitude factor allows you to kind of scale and adjust the data so you have a little bit more realistic time profiles. Perfect, now that I have the time profile defined, we're gonna look at the thermal load. And I have a few options of how to apply this. I'm gonna start with a heat flux. And I'm just gonna choose this face. And because it's a simple example, I'm just gonna use 50 watts per meter square and choose that uniform time function. Now, I also wanna add a, a convection coefficient to the remaining exposed faces. So with SimSolid, you have to manually select all the faces that you wanna be included, then choose the ambient temperature. So for this, I'll just choose a normal room temperature of 72 degrees. And then for the watt transfer, I'm gonna choose 50 watts per meter square for this one. The difference is I am gonna choose the linear time function that we, we assigned earlier. And now you can move into solving. Now, one thing you'll notice is that I didn't create a mesh, I didn't simplify my geometry, which again is one of the huge selling points of SimSolid to begin with. For example, this simulation took three seconds of real time to run. And now I can look at the results. Once I render the animation, I can get a way better understanding of what's happening once this thermal load is applied over time. It also gives you the option to show what the results are at its peak. Now, one last thing I wanted to share is the option to do a point plot, especially if you have an area of your design that you want to get more specific measurements on. Just use the point, and then you can choose to give it more detailed information. So I know this was a really simple example, but hopefully you saw how simple it can be to run a transient thermal analysis using SimSolid. If you guys want to learn any more about SimSolid or have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. www.trueinsight.io. Thanks.